Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we're gonna talk about NAS because this is my new toy. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. This is a device, actually a computer, that you put in your local area network so that you can access uh, and transfer files through the network from your other computers or mobile devices. Recently I bought this ASUS Store Locker Store for generation 2. This is a NAS that is uh, relatively affordable and it's a great fit for home or small office use. In this quick video I'll try to do a quick unboxing, have a look at the technical specifications, perform a small upgrade and um, explore the software. Hopefully this short video will help you decide whether you need a NAS and whether you need ASUS Store Locker Store for Generation 2. Huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. If you need a high quality printed circuit board, no matter if you're working on a prototype or you're ready to go for mass production, visit PCBWay.com to order. PCBWay also offer assembly services, 3D printing, metal sheet fabrication, so basically it's a one-stop shop for a maker. This year PCBWay is celebrating their 10th anniversary and they're running a batch design contest with a lot of cool prizes. Have a look at the link in the description of the video for more details. Step number one, let's start with unboxing of ASUS Store Locker Store for Generation 2. The exact model number of the unit that I have is AS6704T. The package contains, of course, the NAS, AC adapter, quick installation guide, two Ethernet LAN cables, some Phillips screws and one power cord bracket. The particular unit that I bought came with four hard drives. However, you can buy the same unit with hard drives that are sold separately. This way you can choose your exact hard drive models. The hard drives are situated in the front and it's very easy to swap them in and out. My configuration is with four Western Digital Ultrastar SATA 3.5 inch hard drives. Each of these hard drives stores two terabytes of data. The cache size is 128 megabytes. The disk speed is 7200 RPMs. While the NAS is powered off, let me quickly show you how to swap in and out all the drives. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to set them up in a RAID configuration. ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2 has a really good hardware. The technical specifications include Intel Quad-Core Celeron CPU and 4GB of DDR4. This NAS has a compact size and the weight is less than 3kg. There are a couple USB 3.2 Generation 2 ports, one of the front and one on the back of the NAS. On the back there are two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. This basically doubles the performance of a standard gigabit Ethernet device. Furthermore, with the recent introduction of SMB multi-channel support, this NAS is capable of combining the speed of multiple Ethernet ports. Of course, in order to take the full advantage of these features, your network infrastructure must support these speeds. Also, in the back of the NAS, there is an HDMI port, which is a key feature for my needs. I'm going to show you this later on in the video. I have wired all cables and now it's time to turn on my new NAS. All I need to do is just to press the power button on the front of the NAS. The system needs some time to boot, especially during the first boot. The convenience is that the ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2 has a display which can show you some system information while the NAS is booting and after that to show you the IP in your local area network. Of course, to automatically obtain an IP address in your local area network your router must support DHCP but I guess any router does this nowadays right? And while I was speaking about this display I want to mention that there are four keys on the right side of it with which you can control the menus. There is a small interactive menu for system information you can have a look at the temperature, shut down the NAS and make some uh, little things. It's really convenient I really like this feature of the NAS. Out of the box, ASUS Store, Locker Store, comes with a special operating system called ADM. 
This stands for Asus Store Data Master, and actually, it is a Linux distribution that features Asus Store proprietary software applications and a lot of open source software. It's With ADM, there are three ways how to remotely monitor, manage, and control your NAS. The first option is to use a desktop application. It is called Asus Store Control Center. It's available for Windows and Mac OS. I'm a Linux user, so this is a no-go for me. The second way is to use a mobile application. I've installed this application on my Android phone and it's decent. And the third option is what I prefer is to use a web interface from your web browser on any computer. So I can do it from my Ubuntu computer as well. Launch a web browser. Uh, go to the IP address of your NAS, there is an HTTP server at port 8000 which is uh, providing you the portal uh, with access control, activity monitor, storage manager, doctor access store for checking uh, the health of your um, disks. You can manage files with the file explorer, uh, turn on and off various services and of course have a look at the system information. Furthermore, if you want, you can do backups and restores. You can also connect uh, your uh, NAS online uh, with the main service of ASUS. This is something that I'm not interested in doing, but in general, you can do it. From the services in ADM uh, web interface, you can very easily enable or disable uh, services related to file transfer, such as Samba, uh, NFC, FTP, you can enable or disable a web server, you can even have an HTTP uh, uh, server with PHP and MySQL, and you can also enable SSH to remotely access your uh, ADM as you do with a normal Unix or Linux machine. Speaking from the perspective of a software engineer, I have to say this ASUS Store NAS is an embedded Linux device. It's running the Linux kernel and the source code with the exact configuration and device trees for ASUS Store, Locker Store 4 are available online. I found them at SourceForge. ASUS Store is maintaining GPL source code and toolchain for ASUS Store NAS at SourceForge. I'll publish a link in the description of the video. There are different directories depending on the hardware and the different versions of ADM that you're running. In my case, I'm running ADM 4.2. This is on Intel hardware, so the Linux version as of the moment is 5.13. Of course, the Linux kernel is entirely open source. I have enabled SSH so I can log in remotely through the command line terminal to my NAS and have a look at the kernel. As I said, it's 5.13. This is an old version because right now the latest and greatest is 6.8. On my Ubuntu computer, I'm running 6.5 and the NAS is with 5.13. I listed it with the uname command. It is what it is. And I also listed the hardware uh, details about the CPU. On top of that, uh, ADM also comes with Docker Engine. Docker is probably the most popular uh, solution for running containers nowadays. It's open source and it allows you to install and manage various applications in containers. This is really convenient because this way you can use the NAS not only for storage and transfer of files, but also to run some specific applications. ASUS Store maintains the so-called App Central. This is the place from which you can download, install, uninstall, enable or disable various applications. There is a list of predefined applications. Furthermore, you can install some applications manually. Top applications are Plex, Firefox, VirtualBox, FFmpeg, Photo Gallery and many more. From technical point of view, probably the most important application is the Docker Engine. This is the open source containerization technology for building and containerizing your applications. Docker is a lightweight virtualization application that gives you the ability to run thousands of containers created by developers from all around the world on ASUS Store NAS. I had Docker installed pretty much on the first day when I got my NAS and in this video you're seeing how I'm updating it to the latest version as of the moment. Many of the applications from App Central actually rely and depend on Docker. For example, I'm using um, Transmission. This is a, a torrent client in a Docker container on my ASUS Store Locker Store for Generation 2. With many Docker containers running on your ASUS Store NAS, you need a tool to manage them. And here comes the role 
of Portainer I.O. This is an open source management tool for Docker containers. Portainer I.O. provides a user-friendly web interface for managing Docker environments and it allows users to easily deploy, manage and monitor their Docker containers and images. The source code of Portainer I.O. is available at GitHub. The community edition is free. However, they provide as a service business plans for enterprises. You can install Portainer I.O. on your ASUS Store NAS from the App Central. The web UI is amazing. I love it. It's super easy to use it. A practical example of how useful Portainer I.O. was for my setup is that I had to change the default username and password of the transmission Docker container so that I can access the web UI of transmission with different username and password and Portainer I.O help me do it in a few seconds. Honestly, before purchasing my ASUS Store NAS, I had no idea about Portainer IO, but it looks an amazing open source software and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. For the moment, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna explore it further in my other videos. ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2 comes with four hard drives and also four M2 slots for additional SSD drives. So you can put up to four um, additional SSD drives uh, for either storage or caching or even both. I'm gonna perform a small upgrade. I have a spare SSD drive and I'm gonna put it in my ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2 for caching purposes. Before I proceed with the actual hardware upgrade, I have to turn off the NAS. There are several screws on the back. I need to unfasten them in order to remove the main cover that is on the top and on the sides. This way I'll have access to the PCB where the M2 slots are. Let's have a quick closer look at this green printed circuit board. PCI Express 3.0 is supported on Locker Store Generation 2 series of NAS devices, which almost doubles the performance of the M2 SSDs installed in the NAS. Please note that instead of the SSDs, the PCI slot in the NAS also supports 10 gigabit Ethernet cards for maximum flexibility. This slot is no longer proprietary. Here is the spare NVMe SSD drive that I have. It is with capacity of 512 gigabytes. The installation of the SSD NVMe drive in the Locker Store for Generation 2 NAS is super easy. It's too free. Just use the latches instead of any screws. That's a very straightforward installation. That's the whole upgrade. Straightforward, super easy. Anyone can do it. Now it's time to put everything back together to turn on the NAS and to complete the setup from the software side. I have to configure the SSD for caching purposes. On my computer, I'm opening a web browser to access the ADM and I'm gonna go to Storage Manager. Here I can see the SSD which I have installed and already configured from the software side for caching purposes. From the storage manager, I can also have a look at the half of the SSD. Everything looks fine and works perfectly well. As you have seen in the previous chapters of the video, on the back of ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2, there is an HDMI. This is really convenient because it allows me to connect the NAS to a TV and install Kodi. Kodi is a very popular open source uh, software for watching um, your favorite movies, TV shows or uh, listening to music. Unfortunately, the App Central from ADM does not include Kodi as an app that you can install with a single click. But don't worry, there's still a solution. Patrick a user from the asustore.com forum has uploaded an APK file for installing Kodi on your ADM. You can do this manually. I have already done it. It works pretty well. However, this is Kodi version 18.9. In order to install this file, first you need to download it. After that, in the App Central, click Management and go to the tab for Manual Installation. 
I won't go into all the technical details, but I'm pretty sure any tech savvy user can accomplish this coding installation. Keep in mind that with all these hard drives and the fans inside ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2, some noise is being generated. So make sure you're placing this NAS in the right spot in your home or small office because it could be a little bit noisy. And uh, definitely don't place it in quiet rooms, for example, in the room where you sleep, as it might disturb you. Thank you very much for watching this video review about ASUS Store Locker Store 4 Generation 2. I have been using it for a couple of months and so far I'm happy with it. Um, the advantage is obviously the hardware, the disadvantage is that the software isn't optimal, but it's good enough. Uh, it's not entirely open source software, but it uses a lot of open source components. At the end of the day, it's a Linux distribution and you can run Docker containers, which is a great advantage. Let me know if you have the same model. Uh, let me know how do you feel about it? What are your observations? Thank you very much again for watching this. Please, if you like this type of content, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.